recording in Pro Tools using Logic, Digital Performer, Cubase, Nuendo, Reason, or Ableton Live? Let us mix your project today. We will give your songs a sound that rivals today's hottest acts. Visit eneonicity.com for more details. And move on to the next track, which is the bass. And we're going to add some compression. Go to Dynamics. We'll use the Compressor Limiter Dynamic 3. Add some gain. Lower the threshold a little bit. Listen to that in conjunction with the other tracks. Okay, now the next track, which is the pluck. And I think we're going to want to add some reverb there as well. So we'll stop Pro Tools. Add bus 1 and 2 and listen as we raise the send level. So this is without, and this is with. So we get a little bit more body and depth with that particular part. And now we'll listen to it in conjunction with the other tracks. We'll lower the overall volume on that. And next we have our pad. Which is a little low in the mix, but we'll listen to it in conjunction with the other tracks. that up a little bit. And we'll bring our bass up a little bit. So for demonstration purposes, this is sufficient. And the final thing we're going to do is add a master fader track with an automated fade. So once again, we'll hit Shift Apple in. And we want a stereo, master fader. And what we're going to do is increase the height on there. And we'll scroll down. And using the hand tool, we're going to add two automation points. And what we'll do is we'll add a little horizontal zoom in. And go to bar 29. In grid mode, we're going to go to bar 29, add one automation point there, add another one at 33. And then we're going to drag the second one down all the way down to infinity. And if we go to bar 28 and listen, we should have our fade out. And this concludes lesson four.